It's Beer and Food O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be pairing a British Steak and Slater's Ale Puff Pastry Top Pie from Aldi with some of Aldi's chunky oven chips. Look really good. And we have a Christmas beer called Why Notch Beer. Uh, Schwausen Brau Speciality. So it's a it's a Christmas speciality beer from Germany, 5.5% ABV with a swing top cap. So let's get this pie in the oven. It goes in from frozen for 50 minutes, 40 minutes. That's a look at it. had some of these chips yesterday. I wasn't going to review the chips, but I'm a big chip fan. Look at these! Massive chips from Lidl. So we're just going to get a couple of these. On the tray, get them in the oven. There we go. Okay, we're set. Food is here. What I'm going to do is get the beer out first into a glass and see what we get. It's a bit of smoke on the bottle opening. I always expect, get my head out of the way, I expect like some kind of mad explosion. So Christmas beer then. My first one of the year. We got a three, four finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. These German Christmas beers, I've had them in the past. They genuinely look like this. Um, they're a little bit stronger in the ABV, 5.5%. Uh, probably to get through those winter blues, I suppose. You want something a little bit stronger, then you're a little bit more hearty. Good levels of carbonation, clear light amber colour beer. Let's get the aroma. But it smells really good. Slightly spicy, peppery, lemony, hoppy on the back end, a little bit of sweetness coming through. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's not bad. All the food today, all the, well, the beer, the food, it's all from Lidl's, uh, sorry, Lidl. Aldi, they swore at Aldi, <laughs> um, it's all from Aldi in the UK. The pies are new, the chips, well, they're, they're absolutely fantastic, and the beer, the beer is good, the beer was £1.99, so I would say for, a, for an Aldi beer, I was looking at their lagers yesterday. They're generally £1 to £1.20. You can get a four pack or a six pack of lager for two ninety nine. Not too bad. So £2 for one bottle is a little bit premium for Aldi, but you're getting a really decent Christmas beer. You are getting a really decent Christmas beer for for that price of one ninety nine. It's 5.5% ABV. Yes, it's a little bit sweet. But that balances off nicely with the kind of spicy peppery hops on the back end. It's biscuity, it's bready. The alcohol is very well hidden at 5.5% ABV. It's not kind of, sometimes you can get a little bit of a nasty kind of alcohol taste. You don't get that at all with this beer. It's good stuff. Nice levels of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. A really good Christmas lager. That would go really well with your Christmas dinner or if you want a few before before Christmas starts like I do, Christmas Eve, always have a drink with a wife. Then this is not a bad beer. Wine Nortz beer by Schwabenbrau. And it's not made by Aldi. Uh, it's not got Aldi written on anything on the back here. It is an authentic German brewery. It's not like a, an Aldi rebrand. Not that there's a problem with that. Next is for the vinegar. If you're watching in Europe, 
we love a bit of this on our chips. Look at that! Still warm enough to get a bit of steam off them. Put that away. Bottle of Heinz malt vinegar, which is essentially just wort, just left and left and left. It's eventually beer will turn into vinegar. Okay. Hopefully the pie's cooled down as well. I can get my fingers into it. I'm trying to evolve these kind of beer and food reviews. It's a process, isn't it? It's a process you can work out. Oh, look at this. Love a pie lid. But I tell you what, take a look at this, guys. Look at that there. Great big, great big onion. Proper steak and ale pie. Don't want to lose that pie lid. And of course, what's the first thing you do? Pie and chips. See what the sauce is like. Look at that. Mmm. Onion, gravy, beef like, steak cut chips. It is literally, since I woke up this morning, seven o'clock, it's two o'clock now in the afternoon. It has not stopped raining. It has been pouring down with rain here in the UK. I've been painting some doors. And just to have something like this, a beer with your lunch, nice pie, some chips. The pie was about 1.99. Chips were about two pound a bag. If you get 1.5 kilos of quality chips for that, and two pound for the beer. So, of course I'm not using all the chips. Just a few. So the meal probably, a pie, a pint, some chips, probably cost me for £4.30. Probably used about 30 pence worth of the chips. I firmly believe the reason why we get by, we managed to get by in, in Northern Europe, where it gets really cold in the winter and dull. It's not just the cold, because you can hide away from that in your house. But then all your lights are on. It's dark, it's dull, it's dingy. There's only so much TV you can watch. There's only, only so many doors you can paint, like I'm painting today. I firmly believe the reason why we get by and thrive in Northern Europe is hearty, good hearty food. I've traveled throughout most of Europe over the last few years with this stuff, with beer. Uh, it's been a real privilege to travel around Europe, making beer with different breweries and trying different foods. And, and when you get to the Northern countries, you ask for their, like, what's their dish? What's their, their choice of food? And it's always like a hearty stew or some kind of meat pie or it gets us through. It gets us through. It really does. So I want to get a bit of... I want to get a bit of steak. It's always important that you check out the steak because it might be a little bit, a bit chewy like. You know, we've got, we've got to make sure the steak's okay. Mmm! Melt in your mouth. Absolutely melt in your mouth. Mmm. Steak and onion. Look at that. No gristle, no fat. Beautiful lumps of pie. Beautiful lumps of meat in the pie. Incredible. Pie lid. Mmm. Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. How does it pair with a beer? It's really good. It is really good. Looking out the window, all I can see is rain on the conservatory, pummel in the conservatory. I'm here with a nice steak pie, some steak cut chips. Here's the here's the box for the pie. With some with some beer. And life's good, yeah? Life is good. Let's give it all a rating. The beer for me is a very, very good Christmas beer. If you if you like your beers slightly on the sweeter side, I think you'd enjoy this slightly sweeter Christmas beer. Then again, if you want a stronger lager, it's, it's kind of going into Bock territory, this beer. Then go for this, give it a try. Looks good, smells good, tastes wonderful. The chips for two pounds for a 1.5 kilo bag, you cannot go wrong with these. Potatoes fluffy, crispy, take about 40 <coughs> about 45 minutes with a pie. Onto the pie then. Again, for your money for two pounds. You can't go wrong. I gotta get back to my painting. So I'm gonna finish this review now. Chips, nine. Pie, nine. Beer, eight out of 10. All the scores are out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.